Kurt Broderson. You're watching Real Local. Today we're here at the Middlebury New Filmmakers Festival. There are 90 films screening this weekend over three venues. And uh, the, probably the best part about the festival is that so many of the filmmakers are traveling with their films and are here today. Uh, with me right now is Jack Gustafson. And uh, he is the uh, writer and director behind Barnyard Slop Trough. So uh, welcome to Middlebury and the festival. It's really good to have you. Thank you. It's been great to be here. Um, maybe we could talk a little bit about, sort of, as a new filmmaker, your background and what, what brought you to this film? Well, what brought me to Barnyard Slop Trough, um, it's a mockumentary about foodie culture. Um, it sort of tries to be the end of the farm to table movement or somewhat the fetishization of foodie culture. I'm very much guilty of that. Uh, I love to go to good restaurants and talk way too much about food and how it's made and everything. Um, but the character within the film, uh, Frederick Kleiss, is a pop-up restaurateur who's been down on his luck. He's had a series of bad shows that haven't been well received. And it's sort of his, his Waterloo, I guess. It's his last stand he's making as to solidify his legacy or kind of doom himself to mediocrity. And as the byproduct of uh, being a red diaper baby, he was born on a farm and had communist parents. His teenage rebellion was becoming a Maoist to his parents' Stalinism. Um, so he decides to serve food out of buckets into a giant trough for people to eat for an evening. Um, I came across the idea uh, with my longtime collaborator, Luke Pretz, who plays the lead in it. Um, it started, uh, I don't know if it's uncreatively enough, but basically a bar game that we would play when we'd run out of things to talk about and try and amuse each other, where we'd come up with novelty restaurants. It, it could be open as long as you want it, uh, one night only, forever. It's got to have a gimmick and a signature drink. And we came up with a whole bunch of ones, like Messi's, the restaurant that's so messy that they have to hose you down afterwards, or Flame and Sally's, where all the drinks are on fire, every single drink you get. Um, but Barnyard Slop Trough was something that developed beyond just this ludicrous idea of people eating out of troughs. And it borrows very much from Christopher Guest. Uh, it also borrows heavily from, I don't know if you've seen the documentary about the fashion designer Isaac Mizrahi called Unzipped in the early 90s. Um, it borrows a lot from the character that it, he's represented in that film and kind of the, I guess, that nervous creative energy. Well, I think, you know, the mockumentary sort of genre, um, you know, it's better if, if you can laugh at yourself. So Absolutely. sort of having come out of, you know, that, and I, and I think you, your timing is great, and time, timing in comedy is, is certainly essential, but, um, you know, the... And in Vermont, as, as this, I don't know if you've screened this at other festivals, but it's certainly a, a sort of nice nexus of, of time and place for you, I think, to, you know, there are other, other films at the festival that, that are on the serious side of, of uh, you know, Farm to Table, right. and it's nice to have, you know, another option for, for viewing. Um, what was the film like, filmmaking process like for you? Uh, the filmmaking process, um, it's interesting. It... We were incredibly lucky the entire time. We, because I've been on films, I've produced a couple of films um, where everything goes wrong, like from the get-go. Wardrobe doesn't show up, special effects makeup doesn't show up, and you're like at Mount Baldy, and there's no cell reception, you just gotta make do. With Barnyard Slop Trough, um, we put, I mean, we put a lot of preparation into it. We. I live in Los Angeles now. I just graduated from uh, Loyola Marymount out there on the coast. Um, but I lived in Kansas City for about six years beforehand. I did undergrad at Rockhurst University and then bartended and waited tables. Um, and to me, Kansas City is like a second hometown for me. And we flew a pretty small crew, about six people. I flew Luke from Massachusetts to Los Angeles first, and then where 
where we didn't have the biggest budget, we made up for it in having the script and the characters more or less done for a year and a half before we shot it. So we did a series of screen tests where, say I would get Luke, who plays Frederick, the lead in it, or my friend Will Gish, who's actually from Middlebury, uh, who plays his sidekick, Clyde Grant, and we'd do a series of screen tests just running through what is the universe of that character, what, what is real, what is not, how do these characters make decisions independently of uh, what is on the script or not which allowed us to kind of have a little bit more freewheeling style when it came to shooting. Um, when things did pop up on the set, like, say people, extras weren't able to make it at the right time, so we had to push the call a little bit. But in the meantime, we had, we were shooting it like a documentary, so we just kept the cameras rolling and kind of followed up on sort of the screen test that we did where we would ask questions, but now we've been shooting the film mm -hmm. and in the characters' minds, these things have happened already, so it's getting reactions. Um, kind of like, a, I mean, it's a fake documentary. It's, I, I, the term mockumentary, I'm not the biggest fan of it, just because it seems to catch all, I guess? And I, but I don't know what's better. It's like, I guess, fictional documentary, or I don't know. Maybe if you make more of them, you'll be able to decide what it should be called. Hopefully. <laughs> So what, what are your plans after this? Uh, my plans for the, this is actually the first public screening of Barnyard mm -hmm. Slop Trough. Um, and it was really great to go see it at the Dana. Um, people were laughing, so. Good sign. I know, yeah, with, the thing with comedy is you know if it's working or not pretty quickly. Um, and they laughed in places where I wasn't quite expecting it, so yeah. that was great. Um, my plans are I'm in the process of uh, applying to a couple different festivals and taking it around. Um, I really want to show it in Kansas City because that's where we had shot it all. Um, it was so incredibly easy there. Um, you don't need permits. Um, people are willing to help you out a whole lot. Um, and then just taking it on the road. We, Luke Pretz and I have a couple of uh, feature screenplays that we've been developing. Um, one that's in like an early, early stage that we've just started talking about is kind of a send up on neo noir film that involves uh, set in about 2024 with student loan. Uh, it, it's kind of a, a detective mystery about student loan debt. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good luck with that. And, well, thank and, you. Uh, good luck with the, with the future festivals for this film, and, and it was good having you here. Well, thank you. Um, Pleasure. Good luck with it. Thanks Absolutely. very much. Absolutely. Thank you.